welcome back to Bluebell Island for episode 35 with me, Mr. Seely P. With field 4 sewn and complete, I've got the cedar on field 15, which is putting soybean in there. And the price um, for sunflower has plateaued at 1439 at Hillside Grain. So, what I'm going to do is sell a load. Let's fill this up. Um, I have a plan for today. I've been giving Farmer Matty's contract some thought. And I think the best way to do this is you can only... You have to speculate to accumulate, basically. was what I was going to say, but I was going to say it in a much more roundabout and ridiculous way. Um, here's what's going to happen. To go around and mow and ted enough fields for 50 bales would take me quite a while with the setup I've got at the moment. So I'm going to lease some equipment. Like it or loathe it, some modern equipment um, to help me with this process. It's going to cost me quite a bit of money to lease it, but what I'm going to make out of it is well worth it. I'm going to need to lease a bigger tractor. I'm going to lease some mowers. I've already got the tedder. And then later on I will need to lease the auto stack to go around and collect them. But he's offered me 25 cows. To buy 25 cows at auction, at market, wherever, would cost me a bomb. So it's actually well worth it. So I thought I'd sell some of this, which will pretty much... I think one load of this will pay my leasing costs, but I'll do a couple of loads, I think. I need to check something. This is Hillside Crane, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't hit the roof. That was almost perfect. Three thousand one hundred and ninety-four. Excellent. I've got a few loads of that too. So my normal field of sugar beet, which is here, which is non-organic, that's the one that was done with fertilizer sprays and fertilizer spreading and all sorts of stuff. That will need to be harvested at some point, and that's not to be mixed up with the sugar beet that's coming off field four for Johnson & Johnson Farms. My voice has gone incredibly croaky all of a sudden. Now, how much has selling that load affected the price? Let's see. Sunflower. Whoa, that's dropped to 1367. Wow. I mean, that's still the highest price, but that's a huge drop okay right you know what I think what I will do is that price was good and that will pay my leasing cost for the equipment I need so what I'm going to do is not do another load yet wait till the price picks back up again and then do another load and set up whenever I need it. Because then I'm not short of money. It's not like I need it now. That can stay in storage as long as it needs to. So let's go and lease some gear. So at the store, I have one minor dilemma here. And it is a minor one. For the mowers, I'm going to get the two that hooked together, the Novacat 301 ED and the Novacat X8 ED because they're going to go on the front and I'm going to tear at the back unorthodox I know, I've done it before but on the bigger farms but I need to get round this quickly, this needs to be a fairly fast job um, the Novacat butterfly mower is 8.4 metres in width my tedder if you remember I got the Deutzfahr Condi Master is 
So we're looking at a difference of 10 centimeters. That's five either side. I'm hoping there's enough leeway. Otherwise, it means leasing another one. The Coon one, the GF8702, is 8.7, which is pretty much perfect. Hmm. We'll see. Hopefully, it'll work. So, right, mowers then. I'm going to lease that. And lease that. And then tractors. I'm going to lease the T7 Blue Power Heavy Duty. Very, very nice. Um, before anybody asks, that was in the PlayStation Store, and I believe I could be wrong, but that was a bonus tractor you got if you pre ordered or if you went for the. the, the whatever it was, the something edition. Uh, so, yeah, if anyone asks, I'm sure that's why. So, if you haven't got that tractor, that could be the reason why it's not there. Uh, I'm going to go for a 315 because I need the power, standard, or wide. I'll go with wide, I need the traction. No, actually, I don't. I'll go with standard. And what's that, 19.4? Okay, lease. So, I'm looking in the region of about 30,000. I just made 43 on selling that. Uh, sunflower, so we're all good. Oh, look at that. Slightly different colour on the blue power. And it has the lovely little badges that say blue power somewhere on it. Um, very, very nice indeed. It does look better with the wide tyres, actually, doesn't it? But that will do for what I need. What I'm going to do to start off with is I'm going to hook up the mowers in the normal configuration to get them down to the farm. Um, and then I'll swap around the configuration because if I put them all in the front now, without a rear weight, it all gets a little bit hairy. Let's go. looks good, it sounds good. I'm just thinking, no, don't do it, don't do it. So now I'm thinking, oh, I did mention in the other episode, maybe we should up upgrade and we should get a more modern tractor to help out around the place. But then that takes away from the essence of the map, it takes away what, what I intend the map to be. This I'm doing simply a means to an end. I've got a contract. This is going to help greatly with that contract. Now, I'm sure some people may disagree and they may think, well, the whole point is you've got a contract, you're supposed to do it with the equipment you've got. And you know what? I do I do agree with that. I absolutely do agree with that. However, um, there's only so much of me mowing and bailing you can view and I've done a bit of that already in-game on a few episodes. Um, so I thought something a bit different, some different equipment, just to spice it up a bit. I can't remember where I left the, uh, the Condi Master though. Ah, oh, there it is. In that barn. Right, okay, so... Drop that off there. that off there. Now hook that back up. You can see the back wheels are slipping slightly, going to the wrong place. I don't want the baler, not just yet. Okay, drag that straight out. We are good to go, right. Which 
field to what I start with. Let's go left, because I don't go this way very often. <coughs> Down towards the dairy farm, there's a couple of grass fields there. I'll start there, head back over. I don't want to do all the fields and then realise I've got so much hay on the field it's going to be way more than 50 bales. But I suppose if I do, I can always stick those bales into the anaerobic digester. Um, sell them in there and make a bit of digestate, which might not be a bad idea. So maybe mowing everything might not, not be such a bad idea, really. Then just go around, collect all the bales up, get my 50, and then anything over there and above, I can use. It's worth a try. It is certainly worth a try. Right. This is where it gets interesting. Let's open that. Switch to the front. Let's open this. Let's open this. Wow, okay. <laughs> right, can I drop that all down in one go? I can. Let's turn on the tether. Now, front mowers on. Front front mower on. That looks like it's, the width is going to be okay, actually. Well, only time will tell. Let's see how we get on. That is pretty near perfect. I'm going to get the weird Roman road problem think like now and then bang you get a big old pile but that's not too bad this is definitely going to be a much quicker way of doing this like I say not for the purists they may not like that but I've got a job to do the money I'm going to make I say the money I'm not going to make money I'm going to get cows out of it but technically that is payment Damn you, Romans. If you are joining this series late on and you didn't see the other episodes when I did all of this, there is a, a texture, an underlying mapping issue where I think the map creator has overlaid this on top of something else which makes their life much easier if you can repurpose something that's already been used the only downside being that it's left kind of like ley lines behind um, and the problem with that is that it leaves these gaps like this so in my slightly insane narrative they're old Roman roads which means the grass doesn't grow properly Go with it, people. Go with it. Well, this is actually working rather well. The other one, obviously, we're just clipping part of it, aren't we? Okay, it's all good. So, we are mowing. And we are preparing hay for Farmer Matty. one field almost done, that was pretty quick I have to say so what I'm going to do now 
for the rest of this episode is going to be um, one long musical montage of just me doing mowing. I'm joking, it's not really. <laughs> I'll do some of it off screen. I can imagine just how boring that would be. But it might not be, you might enjoy it. You might enjoy my music choices and you might enjoy the therapeutic nature of mowing. Or you might think, skip to the end. Which is fair enough, it's probably what I would do. That's my kind of rule of thumb for making videos. Right, let's just go to... Just turn that off for a second. Lift that hole up. Now this, if you don't plan this map, this is the respawn field, but... Doesn't matter, it's still a field. Oh, how did I manage to do that? I caught the mower, didn't I? Never mind, right. Put that back down again. Did I draw the front door? I did. Turn that back on again. And off we go.
with most of the fields mowed and tedded. Not all of them. I've got this one here, that one there, and then the two the other side of the lake. <coughs> excuse me, which I'm going to do off screen. But what I'm going to do in today's episode, in the kind of the same vein that we've been doing already going large to speed up the process I'm going to lease another piece of equipment why not this is one of my crazy episodes you know you get them every now and again where everything goes a little bit weird and a little bit off course but it's not really off course this is all part of it I'm going to go with the Lely Hibiscus 1515 CD Profi uh, that's another 5000 to lease but it's 14.8 meters which is going to mean that the wind rowing will be sped up plus when it comes to bailing I haven't got to go up and down so many times to bail which will improve everything I still do miss there's the new crone swadro wind rower which is I think 9.3 <coughs> excuse me I miss the big crone swadro, that massive one. Anyway, enough of lamenting the past. Let's move forward. So, I'll start with the field here, the last one I did, and then work my way back around again. This really should make light work of this. So I know why this has happened, because I did the uh, 5,000 subscriber special, Mr. CDP on tour with CDG, and it was driving around the big attractors and stuff. My, you know, it's got my blood up. I want to drive a big tractor. So let's open that out. is wide isn't it? Okay, I think we can go through the hedge here. Turn it on, drop it down. Nice bit of advertising there for Lely. Lely.com and let's get going. I haven't used this size windrow for ages, but it's getting a lot of grass into each windrow, which is going to, like I say, it's going to make life much, much easier in the long run. Although some of these larger piled bits are going to be a bit peculiar, but just go with it, Mr. Sealy P. It will all be fine. It's very, very neat wind rows, doesn't it? I think I might have left a bit of log behind, but never mind. Wow, this is really, really quick. Let's try and get these bits in as well. Shall I just... yeah, I will. Just turn it for a second. So I don't mess up the wind rows already done. I mean, technically I would do by driving over them, but... Let's not dwell on that too much. And then it'll just be the simple case of coming back around, bailing, collecting the bales. Like I say, I, I won't really know until I kind of get going on it um, whether or not I've got enough fields done with enough bales 
So what I might do is start baling like I've done with this. I haven't finished mowing all the fields, but I've come and collected the windrower to get this going. What I'll probably then do is bale, see how many bales I've got on the fields I've done so far, and then if I need to, um, go and mow some more fields and sort of move along like that. That probably makes more sense. I know I said it didn't matter, and if I had a load of bales left over, I can just take them over and sell them, put them into the digestate at the biogas plant, at the, at the BGA, um, which I can do, but it's a lot of extra work if I don't need to do it. Does that, that kind of make sense? It seems pointless doing it just for the sake of doing it. So. what this really needs, and I'm pretty sure I've said this before, there is a modded version of this hibiscus for PC where I think it's got a rear trailer hitch on the back of it which means you can hook up um, you could stick a baler on the back of this so you can windrow and bale at the same time so, you know that would be a no brainer if you could do that speeding up all these processes, especially if you're a one man army if you're doing it on your own, that would make life so much easier. But again, probably not particularly realistic. I know you often get people comment say, I work on a farm, or I have worked on a farm, or I know people do work on farms. That's not how it would be done. And I've, I've said that before, I totally get that, I really do. The game physics and game engine and the things that, you, that it allows you to do in-game are not necessarily what would be possible in real life. I, I really do get that. Um, I don't make uh, any claims that, I, that I'm doing it. It's not a realistic series, but I do try to be as real as possible within the realms of playing the game, if that kind of makes sense. It's not, you know... I'm not saying this is how farmers do it, by any stretch of the imagination. through a hedge. Saying about that, about hedges, the new, or say, I put the video up a little while ago actually, from Black Sheep Modding, they keep putting up their videos of the kind of in progress, um, the valley, the old stream, and again, I'm... I really do hope it's on the console version, but their option on there to be able to remove hedges, that's brilliant. So if you want to re really just change the landscape of your farm, it gives you the option to do that. Now that may not well may not be on consoles, you know, that could just be me wishful thinking, but that is it's on there. There's some machinery you can use and you uh, basically just take out what you don't want really. It looks absolutely amazing but then the guys at black sheet modding are very good at what they do okay right well that's another field sorted i am in a slight dilemma as it stands now because i do need to move on to another field i do need to carry on doing this but again you don't want to spend your life just watching wind rowing but I'm also aware of time and I'm probably pretty close to the limit, not the limit, but about 30 odd minutes for this video. If I carry on doing this off screen, that's fine. But then if I go and get the baler now and start baling, I haven't got enough time to do that in any kind of, uh, any decent standard before the end of the episode. So what's going to happen is, I've completely forgotten where my field was, on here. Um, the baling of these fields will be done 
probably in the next episode, I would imagine. When that will be, I'm not sure, because this, this is the last of the pre-recorded videos I've got while I'm away on holiday. So, um, the next one will be after I get back off holiday. So, fingers crossed, it all works out okay. I will carry on and see how much I need. I will get some bailing done. We'll see how we're looking for bales, and then as to whether or not we need to do some more fields of hay. And on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's um, it's gone incredibly quickly. Travis, in my mind, I'm thinking I've done something wrong. The time must be out. I, I can't possibly be at 30 odd minutes already, but I am. Um, you know, we've gone big today, which we don't normally do on this farm, but it seemed appropriate for what I needed to do. I've got the money. I've been asked to fulfil a contract. It didn't specify in that contract how I was to go about doing that. So I've decided the best way for me. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.